Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I am doing my second to last update, I think, for my Petty Project Pan. I am so excited. I finally hit another goal. <laughs> I'm, I am certainly done, finally, with a product by Charlotte Tilbury that, no, I'm totally done, but I hit my goal for this project and I'm so happy because I'm actually like really happy to stop using this product, but I learned a lot. So like it wasn't a waste of time or product. Uh, so we are like 90-ish percent done with this project and I've got what, another uh, month-ish? This goes to the end of the year. So um, I think I'm doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump into the update. If you missed the intro for this project, I'll throw the whole playlist up in the cards because in the first video I explain what products I chose why I chose them, and then the whole meaning behind the Petty Project Pan. So if you missed that, make sure you check out the intro. I also have a list of all the products in the description box, along with a little tidbit of why I chose them, but it makes more sense if you just go back and watch the intro video. Starting off with the products that I've already finished and or hit the goal for this project. First, we have the Elf Luminous Putty Prom Primer. The goal was to finish it, and this has been finished for a while now. Also finished is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Frog. Try saying that five times fast. Also panned completely is the Mini Kevin Aquan Highlighter. And I am so happy to say, next, completely finished, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and my goal for this project was to hit pan in both sides of the product. And look at that, pan. <laughs> okay. So I have to say, uh, first off, I thought the highlighter, for a while I was bored of this highlighter and I wasn't a fan of reaching for it, but I found myself reaching for it more even when I wasn't pulling this out just to use the bronzer side of this. So I have to say, I actually kind of like the highlighter. I might repress it to make it a little bit easier to use, but overall, I'm actually not, you know, too bad on the highlighter. W would it be worth the price? Absolutely not. I don't think I'm ever gonna buy another Charlotte Tilbury highlighter ever again. <laughs> Moving on to the bronzer side. So I finally finished this. And you know, I only really made headway on this when I started using it, not only for bronzer and contour. I started using this in my eyeshadow. Um, I am working on my Pen That Palette and I'm mo mainly wearing my Pen That Palette on my eyes today. But I have two shades in there that are more neutrally. I have a dark brown and I have a black. And because I frankened a lighter brown into a darker brown, I did not have more of like a light transition shade anymore. So that's where this came in. I started using this almost daily as a light transition shade when I was using my Pen That Palette. And that's how I hit pan. <laughs> it was really only starting to use it more often like that. Because I don't think I was using enough product when I was just using this for contour and for bronzer, even though I was using contour every day here and I was even bringing it up here I like to bring a little bit of it um, up here on my temples but overall wow this took a long time to hit pan and B I'm really realizing how much I don't like super warm bronzers or contours on me I have the contour book from Lunta Cosmetic Labs and they have super cool toned shades in there and cool tones just look so much better on me <laughs> they do uh so I found myself like in the middle of this project, like dreading having to reach for this bronzer because it just wasn't a great shade for me. And now I know that. Like now, whenever I buy another bronzer or contour, I'm definitely going to be reaching for one that's more cool toned and a little bit lighter because this, it's not a terrible product. To be frank, like it blended out nicely. The powder itself is nice. It's just the tone and the shade of it is not great for me, <laughs> which, you know, I have to say I'm very proud of myself for hitting pan in this. Like this is well used now. I feel like I've got my money's worth out of it and I still have product to go. Overall, happy that I did this, but I am so happy to not have to use this every day anymore. <laughs> So that is everything I have hit my goal on. The last product that I have that I'm actually, I think, very close to finishing my goal is the Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Fuel. Now pushing it all the way up. Ah, this is where we are. I'm gonna hold it in front of the wall so you can actually see it. I've got this little nubbin of product left. And I'll go ahead and throw the picture up right here of the um, comparison on the notebook paper that I've been tracking this on. Uh, and I think I'm very close. You know, I have to be frank, I don't know if this goes all the way like inside the bullet. We're gonna see once it starts to get a little bit down. Um, if it goes deep into the bullet, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year, which is the goal. Uh, but I'm so proud of myself. I don't think I've ever gotten a full-size bullet lipstick down this far. Ah, is this not like, 
it's exciting to me. And the reason I've been using this so much is that I've been using it every day as a cream bron or bronzer, a cream blush. So I went for a more kind of sunburnt look today and I don't know, I was just feeling a more dramatic look. Um, but that's how I've been able to get this down to such a little nubbin. I'm using it as a cream blush just about every day that I wear makeup and I wear makeup six to seven days a week. I'm really happy with it. Uh, but I don't know, like I said, I, if the product is, like if the bullet goes down to here and there's product all the way down, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. But if the bullet ends kind of closer to up here, I think I have a very good shot of finishing this by the end of this project, which is gonna be the end of the year. So those are all of my updates for the Petty Project Pan. I am so excited with where I am currently. I think I did such a good job and I got like excited and happy to like do this project and to like follow along. And I am bringing it back next year. It'll be a different-ish kind of project next year. I'm thinking of making it a rolling project pan, a year long project pan. And I'm not gonna do like stable monthly updates. I really wanna just only do updates like when I have something to update about or when I'm switching, maybe when I'm swapping out a product. But I will have that intro probably in January so make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever that comes out. So that's it for this update. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!